brief video about IPPBX. What is it, how it works, and why your company should consider buying it or upgrading the old PBX already in place to an IPPBX. Let's start by what is an IPPBX. It's a complete telephony system that provides telephone calls over IP data networks. All conversations are sent as data packets over the network. Enterprises don't need to disrupt their current external communication infrastructure, for an IPPBX is able to connect the traditional PSTN lines via VoIP gateway, so an enterprise can keep its regular telephone numbers. How it works? Well, an IPPBX system consists of one or more SIP phones, an IPPBX server, and optionally a VoIP gateway to connect the existing PSTN lines. The IPPBX server function in a similar manner to a proxy server. The SIP clients, being either soft phones or hardware based phones, register with the IPPBX server and when they wish to make a call, they ask the PBX to establish the connection. The IPPBX has a directory of all phone users and their corresponding SIP address and thus is able to connect to an internal call or route an external call via either a VoIP gateway or a VoIP service provider. Now why choose an IPPBX? Besides the wide range of additional services offered by an IPPBX, I want to add that first, it's much easier to install and configure. An IPPBX runs as a software on a computer and can leverage the advanced processing power of the computer and the user interface, as well as Windows features. So anyone proficient in networking and computers can install and maintain an IPPBX. Plus, it's easier to manage. An IPPBX can be managed via a web-based configuration interface or a graphical user interface, allowing you to easily maintain and fine-tune your phone system. A third reason is a significant cost saving. With an IPPBX, you can easily use VoIP service provider for long distance and international calls, and the monthly savings are significant. And if you have a branch offices, you can easily connect phone system between branches and make free calls between users in different branches around the world. Also you eliminate phone wiring, for an IPPBX allows you to connect hardware phones directly to a standard computer network port and the soft phones can be installed directly onto your PC. So you can now eliminate the phone wiring and make adding or moving of extension much easier. In new office you can completely eliminate the extra ports to be used by the phones. Also the IPPBX allows you to eliminate the vendor login. And IPPBX usually are based on open SIP standards, so you can now mix and match any SIP hardware or software phone with any SIP based IPPBX, a PSTN gateway or a VoIP provider. So with VoIP switch, your investment in purchasing an IPPBX makes a lot of sense, not only if you are a new company buying a phone system, but also if you are a company who already have a traditional PBX. For an IPPBX delivers such significant savings in management, in maintenance and on ongoing call costs that any company should be looking at upgrading to. The question concerning bandwidth consumption is raised directly whenever we speak about VoIP. Voice over IP needs a certain amount of bandwidth to be usable. In another word, VoIP needs bandwidth so that the voice conversation are intelligible by both parties. Basically, bandwidth is the amount of digital data that can be transmitted in a certain time period. Internet connections are usually measured in kilobits per second. Your connection may be rated at 512 or 128 k per second. This means that the upload stream that is leaving your computer has a maximum bandwidth of 128 kilobits and download stream has a maximum bandwidth of 512 kilobits. I do advise you to find out the speed of your broadband connection. For example, a web page that is 3000 bytes can be viewed in 0.05 seconds at download speed of 512 kilobits. However, in the real world web pages don't usually load that fast and that's because the data is held up or delayed by various factors. This is what we call latency and I mentioned for you some of the factors. What this means for VoIP is that enough bandwidth must be supplied to allow for the transmission of the actual voice data in real time. So how much bandwidth does a VoIP call use? Well it depends. It depends on the codec 
used to compress the data. Anywhere from 16 to 64k per second is normal. Adding onto the extra overhead of about 10 to 24k per second. In total, VoIP uses 26 to 88 kilobits per second. As a general rule, assume that you will need at least 88k per second to use VoIP reliably. Note, you will need an internet connection that can handle at least 1 to 8k per second on the upload side. Extra bandwidth will allow others to surf the net or download files while you are talking on the phone. Here's a list of common bandwidth types and you can check what's suitable for a VoIP call. And of course, your choice is connected to the traffic expected on your network. Thanks for watching. This is Roy from VoIP Switch Sales Team.